This is my tutorial for I Get So Lonely by Janet Jackson. Long time requested video. I'm finally getting around to it. Now this video is going to be filled with a lot of chords. So I'm going to go through them pretty fast just because I don't want this video to become like a 25 minute video. So um, take your time, press pause, rewind as much as you need to. But I'm going to try to go through these as quickly and as smoothly as possible. So first of all, how it'll sound is. So that's the basic way of playing it, but first I'll show you guys the bass. That's just your, your left hand. So what you're going to do is you start off with D, down to C, and then from C, F, B flat. So we have D, C, F, B flat. While you're doing that, your right hand is going to play F, A, C, E. And when you move down to the C, your right hand is going to play E flat, G, B flat, D. Then when you move down to this F, this chord, for the most part stays the same, only difference is that this B flat goes down to an A. So E flat, G, A, D. So, so far we have and then when you come back up to this B flat, your right hand is going to play D. F, A, C. So one more time. Right now we have. Now, that's going to be the first part. The second part, your left hand plays A, and then up to C sharp or D flat and then back to D. So when your left hand plays A, your right hand's playing, that's gonna be G, C, E. And then with this D flat, sorry, that's gonna be G, B flat, D flat, E. So, and then you'll be back to your first chord, which was the D minor. So, one more time. So far we have C, F, B flat, A, D flat, D. Now here's where it starts to get a little more tricky. So here we go. So that's gonna be D, G, C, F, B flat. So still the same D, Now when you come down to this G, your right hand stays the same except for the C. So the C goes down to a B. That's all it is. So. And then when you come back up to the C, doing the same transition you did on the first time around, which is going to be 
So if you remember how we started off with the E flat, G, B flat, D, and then we went from there to the E flat, G, A natural, D. And then from there to the same B flat chord as before. So all that together is gonna be Then for what for me was the hardest part, just because the timing wise is the little climb down before you get back to the beginning, which goes. So here you're gonna go G, F, E, A. And then when you're done there, you start back with the uh, original chord. Excuse me, sorry. Um, so with the G, sorry, got the wrong G. Um, your right hand's gonna play F, G, B flat, D. With the F, your right hand's gonna play E, G, A, C. Okay. Yeah. And then with the E, wait. yeah, sorry. With the E, your right hand is going to play G, B, D, G sharp. And then, sorry, now with the A, you're going to play G, B flat, D flat, F. And then you start back from the beginning. Now the way I play it, after I play the intro, I play the same chords in octave lower. So let me lower this real quick. So when you're playing, you'll have to go down, but I'm just gonna change it here so you guys can still see me. So I go. So the reason why this song is difficult for most people, myself included, when I first learned it was there's a lot, a lot of chords to learn, a lot of chords that you're not used to, and uh, the timing of that little transition. Because for the most part, um, the chords are played pretty slow, so... here one two three four so so what I do or what I did was I played it half as fast so I would go so once you get that down then you'll be able to work on speed but first just try to learn the chords, try to break it up how I did, break it up in four different parts. Um, and then once you get more used to that, then you can start ad-libbing and doing extra stuff. And But that's going to 
gonna be you know in due time. So if you guys want me to add you know an ad libbing or more advanced tutorial, just let me know. But for now, just work on the basics and the chords, and then we'll go from there. But if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to hit me up.